cannot be used for fall arrest because it doesn't have any sort of shock absorbing system in it. It's just a just a, posi a positioning rope. So we talked about that restraint system. They could use this as a restraint system to keep them from getting to an edge, but in a situation where they could actually fall, um, they wouldn't be able to use this because it doesn't have any sort of shock. Absor it basically has no bungee. It has no bungee effect to it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this. Um, and then we'll show you what it looks like with uh, shock absorbing equipment and how much of a difference it makes. All right, so that's a 220 pound weight. I've got, uh, I've got it linked up to a, a force meter on the back. Um, that'll give me a, a readout when I put a, a pull on that anchorage point. Um, so as I said earlier, OSHA says that the max amount of force I can feel in my body is 1,800 pounds. Okay? Um, so obviously we don't have compliant equipment here. so going to be a little bit higher than that. So let's see what uh, let's see what happens if someone were to accidentally grab just a rope or, or something and, and clip themselves off to it. Here we go. One, two, three. Four thousand four hundred and fifty eight pounds of force on the body. So um, without any sort of shock absorbing equipment, that's a really heavy, hard impact on the body. Your spine and your body would be all kinds of all kinds of screwed up. Here we go. One, two, three. Six hundred and forty pounds of force this time. So you notice on the way down this time it wasn't nearly as hard, uh, nearly nearly as uh, as uh, painful of an impact. Um, looks like more, much more of a, a smoother ride, if you will. Um, so that's all of that shock absorbing uh, material inside of that lanyard ripping and, and, and tearing out and bringing us to a much more gradual stop than, than in the previous drops.